So this video goes over section 6.5, the first part of section 6.5, which is on equilibrium. So an equilibrium is a reversible reaction. Um, it's a reaction that can occur in either directions. So if we look at the uh, chemical equation shown in the middle here, where you have carbon monoxide in its gaseous phase plus water uh, as a gas, uh, and you see a double arrow and then CO2 as a gas plus H2 as a gas. So here the double arrow indicates a reversible reaction. It means the reaction goes in both directions. And um, we call the forward reaction the one that for proceeds to the right. So going from reactant on the left to product on the right is called the forward reaction. The reverse reaction is called, uh, the, uh, it's the reaction that goes from right to left. Uh, and it's called the reverse reaction. So reversible reactions have a rate for the forward reaction and a rate for the reverse reaction. Both reactions are taking place at the same time. So let's look at an example to um, get a better grasp of, of what this means. And this time we'll look at the, equili the equilibrium between um, carbon dioxide and water with um, carbonic acid on the right. It's H2CO3 is carbonic acid. And above each uh, reactant and product, you have the molecular model. So CO2 made of one carbon in black and two oxygen atoms. H2O made of one oxygen uh, in red and two hydrogen atoms in white. And then H2CO3 made of one carbon atom, three oxygen atoms in red, and then the two hydrogens in white. So, um, uh, so first at time zero, zero minutes, uh, you have gathered uh, your reactant and you only have CO2 and H2O, the two reactant. And so because you have reactant, now they will be able to uh, react together. And uh, after one minute, for example, you may have uh, produced one molecule of um, H2CO3. And so that means you've lost uh, a molecule of CO2 and of water. You see that there is less uh, reactant on the left side. And because you have started to make a product, then you can see the little arrow uh, here uh, that shows the reverse reaction uh, starting to take place because now we have a product, so we can have uh, the reverse reaction uh, happening as well as the forward reaction. After two minutes, you, s you have lost more uh, carbon dioxide and water and they have become uh, another, they have produced another uh, molecule of H2CO3. So now we have two molecules of H2CO3 on the product side. And you see how the arrows, uh, you know, the forward reaction is getting, uh, a s the arrow is getting smaller and the reverse reaction, its arrow is getting larger. After three minutes, we have produced another uh, molecule of H2CO3. And uh, it looks like we have reached equilibrium because uh, to symbolize equilibrium here, the two arrows have the same length. And that means uh, the forward reaction is uh, going on at the same speed as the reverse reaction. And both are keep, uh, keep uh, happening. Uh, so that means CO2 and H2O react together to make H2CO3, but at the same time, H2CO3 dissociates into CO2 and H2O. Both reactions are happening at the same time. And when the two arrows are uh, of the same length here, it symbolizes that they have reached an equilibrium and they uh, happen with the same speed. So um, if we look at this uh, generic form of the equilibrium where you have the reactant on the left and the product on the right with the double arrow in between them. So um, again, the double arrow symbolizes an equilibrium. And so if we um, draw 
uh, as a function of time. So on the x-axis here, you see the progress of reactions. So it's uh, like a time. As time goes on, uh, we see the reaction uh, progressing. And then on the y-axis, you see the concentrations in moles per liter of the reactant and the product. So the reactants are drawn in red and the products are drawn in blue. And so at time t equals zero, uh, what you have are reactant first, right? So the concentration is I up in the y axis and the concentration of product is zero because you have no product yet. And you can see that the uh, concentration of reactant is decreasing over time so it goes down as time progresses until it reach a, a value where it stays at that value. And so as you are um, having reactant uh, disappearing, the product are, um, you know, coming up and uh, their concentration is increasing because when reactant uh, leave, uh, it's because products are made. made. So products are made and their concentration increases as time goes by. And uh, of course, it's uh, dependent on, on how uh, reactants are being uh, used. And again, uh, for the product, you also see that you reach a time where the concentration becomes constant. And it, it is uh, at the same time that the concentration of reactant uh, stabilizes as well. And that time uh, is uh, the start of the time where the equilibrium has been reached. From that point on, uh, you have an equilibrium and the concentrations of the reactant and the concentration of the product will not change much, even though there are still uh, the forward reaction and the reverse reaction happening, but they happen uh, at the same rate. So the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction and they continue at the same rate and that's why the concentrations now don't change. Uh, there is no change to the concentrations of the total reactant and product. So this symbolizes uh, the equilibrium when you have reached uh, a given concentration for reactant and product for a given uh, equation or given uh, reaction. So let's do a learning check to verify that uh, we have learned the uh, vocabulary here and understood. Um, so complete with equal, not equal, forward, reverse, changes, or does not change. So we have uh, four statements here. The first statement starts with reactants form product in the mm -mm, uh, blank reaction. So you want to fill in, so reactant form products in the, so it's either forward or reverse re reaction, right? And so reactant form product in the forward reaction. So here you want to replace with forward. It's the uh, usual uh, way we have seen uh, uh, chemical equations up to now. Second statement. At equilibrium, the reactant concentration. So uh, here it uh, changes or does not changes, right? So at equilibrium, does the reactant concentration changes or does not changes? Well, when you have reached equilibrium, the reactant concentration does not change anymore. Uh, and the concentration of product does not change as well. They are staying the same even though the both reactions, forward and reverse reactions are happening, uh, the concentration of reactant and product stay the same. Statement three, when products form a reactant, it is the blank reaction. So when products form reactant, so products are typically written on the right, reactant are written on the left. So that means you go from right to left. And so is this a reaction the forward reaction or the reverse reaction? And that's the reverse, right? You're going uh, in the opposite direction that uh, chemical reactions are usually written. 
uh, statement four at equilibrium the rate of the forward reaction is mm -mm, blank uh, to the rate of the reverse reaction so at equilibrium the rate of the forward reaction is it equal or not equal to the rate of the reverse reaction uh, and they are equal right and that's why you have reached equilibrium you reach equilibrium when the rates of those two uh, forward and reverse reactions are the same and this is why uh, the concentration of your reactant and product uh, do not change anymore <laughs>